Now we are going to have discussion on series and parallel combination of inductors and we are done with series and parallel combination of resistors and capacitors and in series combination of inductors two or more inductors are connected one after another in the same wire and as they are connected in the same wire the current through all the inductors will remain the same for example in this circuit we have two inductors connected one after another in the same wire and therefore the current through both the inductors will remain same and let's say the current in this circuit is equal to i and we know the voltage across an inductor is equal to the inductance of the inductor multiplied to the time rate of change of current through the inductor that is di by dt now following this we can have the voltage across our first inductor and it will be equal to the inductance that is l sub 1 multiplied to the time rate of change of current through the inductor that is di by dt now for the second inductor the voltage across it will be equal to l2 multiplied to di by dt now we will apply kvl in this loop to calculate the equivalent inductance and after applying the kvl we have plus v minus l1 di by dt minus l2 di by dt equal to zero so we have plus v minus l1 di by dt minus l2 di by dt equal to zero or we can say the voltage v is equal to l1 di by dt plus l2 di by dt and we want to calculate the equivalent inductance and for that we should have one equivalent inductor in place of these two inductors and let's say the equivalent inductance is l sub eq and when we have the equivalent inductor in place of these two inductors we will have the circuit like this one inductor having the inductance l eq with voltage across it equal to v and the current through the inductor is equal to i now we can say that the voltage v is equal to l eq di by dt so in place of v we will write this and therefore we have l eq di by dt and we can take di by dt common from these two terms therefore we have l1 plus l2 inside the bracket multiplied to di by dt now when we compare the left hand side and the right hand side we can see that l equivalent is equal to l1 plus l2 so we have our equivalent inductance it is equal to inductance of the first inductor plus inductance of the second inductor so remember this result whenever we have inductors connected in series combination we simply add their inductance values to get the equivalent inductance now when we have n inductors connected in series and l1 is the inductance of first inductor l2 is the inductance of second inductor and ln is the inductance of the nth inductor then the equivalent inductance is equal to l1 plus l2 all the way to ln and now when all the inductance values are same that is l1 is equal to l2 is equal to l3 all the way to ln 
and they are equal to L then the equivalent inductance is equal to n times L and from this result it is clear that when inductors are connected in series the net inductance or the equivalent inductance increases for example let's say there are three inductors connected in series and the inductance of each inductor is equal to 2 milli henry then the equivalent inductance is equal to 3 multiplied to 2 milli henry this is equal to 6 milli henry now compared to 2 milli henry 6 milli henry is more and therefore when three inductors are connected in series the inductance increases now we will have discussion on the parallel combination of inductors and for this I have taken this particular network in which two inductors are connected such that they have the same potential difference across them and the potential difference is equal to V so V volts is the potential difference or the voltage across the two inductors we are having and if I is the current leaving the positive terminal of the source then it will get divided at this node and let's say I1 is the current through the first inductor and I2 is the current through the second inductor now applying KCL at this node we have I equal to I1 plus I2 and we know for an inductor the current through it is equal to 1 over L integration V dt now when we focus on the first inductor we can see that current is equal to I1 so I1 is equal to 1 over L1 L1 is the inductance and the voltage across the inductor is equal to V so we have integration V dt similarly for the second inductor current I2 will be equal to 1 over L2 integration V dt and when we have the equivalent inductor then current I will be equal to 1 over L equivalent integration V dt now we will put I1, I2 and I in this equation and we will have 1 over L equivalent integration V dt equal to 1 over L1 integration V dt plus 1 over L2 integration V dt. So from here it is clear that 1 over L equivalent 1 over L equivalent is equal to 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2. So remember this result and from this we can have L equivalent it will be equal to L1 multiplied to L2 divided by L1 plus L2. So the result we are having for parallel combination of inductors is same as the result we had in case of parallel combination of resistors and the series combination of capacitors. Now when we have n inductors connected in parallel then the equivalent inductor can be calculated from 1 over L equivalent equal to 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 all the way to 1 over Ln and when all the inductances are equal and they are equal to L then we have 1 over L equivalent equal to n times 1 over L or we can say L equivalent is equal to L over n. So from this result it is clear that when inductors are connected in parallel the overall inductance or the net inductance or the equivalent inductance reduces. For example let's say three inductors are connected in parallel and the value of inductance of each inductor is equal 
to 2 milli henry then the equivalent inductance is equal to 2 milli henry divided by 3 now compared to 2 milli henry 2 over 3 milli henry is less and therefore the equivalent inductance reduces in parallel combination so i hope this lecture was clear to you i will end it here see you in the next one